What's up guys? We're trying to get this uh, 01 Discovery that I bought. Try to get it turned over, see how the engine sounds. I got the battery hooked up. <clears throat> I'm taking the water pump out of this one and putting it in my 99, so I'm trying to get it to start before I end up taking it out. So what I've done is I tried moving the steering wheel back and forth. Wouldn't work. Ignition won't unlock. I've had this happen before. The tumbler gets stuck. Uh, so what I did is I I spray, I took it loose, so this way the steering would be unlocked, so I could actually, you know, steer the vehicle when I had put it on the trailer and everything. Uh, the key actually, let's see if I can, let's see if we can get this in there. The key actually broke, so this is what I'm working with right here. Um, I sprayed a couple squirts of throttle body and carb cleaner in there, and a whole bunch of black crap came out of there. So now I'm going to put that in there, and when you do that, when that tumbler hangs up, if you take a hammer, see if I can get it in there, tap it a couple times. Sometimes that helps that tumbler. Oh, didn't work that time. Try flipping the key over. For some reason. My little dinger dings isn't working now either. Let's see, do I have a light on in there too? No light either. So, well, hell. Sometimes that works. This time I don't know if it's going to. You can, if you take and disconnect everything off of here, disconnect these wires, this here, this one down here and the back of the ignition off if you disconnect all those things and take it down to your local locksmith they uh, can replace the the spring and the tumbler so that this this way it'll work again and then you don't have to go buy and you know a new uh, <clears throat> a new ignition switch which for these Land Rovers is ridiculously expensive because it's Land Rover so it's good to know these little tricks um, you know, it's just three screws that holds the cowling on for your steering. Take that off, and then there's two screws right here that hold it right there to the top of the uh, to the steering column. This guy right here, if you can see it, that little plunge right there, that's what locks your steering wheel. Like I said, I had to take it off, so this way the steering wheel would be free and it would, would move and wouldn't lock on me. Um, but... I can't get this damn thing to turn. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this here. And you can see the back of the tumbler in there. Let me see if I can do it real quick while I got you guys on, on film. Uh, this screwdriver is a little small. So I'm going to try and put this rubber glove on it to kind of fill the void a little bit. You can also use tape. I'll put some tape on the end of it. If you push hard enough on it. It fills the void. Look at that. It worked. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So we got that guy off. And let's get the other one off this side over here. Same thing. Put the glove on the end of your screwdriver. You get it on there. This one's, this one's worse. This one's a little bit. More stripped out. Ooh, it's nice and hot. I should have rolled this thing off the trailer in some shade. Now you're in the middle of the desert. Frying. Frying. Yeah. Man, this one just doesn't want to go. I might have to get another. Hold on one second. Dang it, take all the screwdrivers down to the other the other truck. Maybe this rag will do it. Let me see. I really like to get this. Oh, it's not gonna work if the screwdriver goes all the way through it. Get this done real quick so I can show you guys. Don't have to redo the video. But it's not gonna work. Alright, well, I gotta go down and get another one. I'm going to push pause. Hopefully everything will be here when I come back. 
Okay, we're back. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if this guy will fit in there good enough to make it loosen up. Got it. That's one of the best screwdrivers ever. Ever. It's a Milwaukee. You take and it's interchangeable. It comes with all the bits right here in the in the screwdriver body itself. And then it ratchets and works both ways. It ratchets it ratchets and does not ratchet. So it's just like a regular screwdriver. I use this thing all the time. I think I have two of them somewhere. I think, I think the other one's in the trailer. Okay. So we're gonna pull that out. There's the back of the the key or the lock mechanism there. So let's unplug everything here real quick. Let's go on. This guy. What? Ah. Always gonna get one that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Put this little flathead screwdriver right here. Push down, pull out. No. No. Come on now. Why are you being so difficult? Got a little bit of drag. So hopefully after I do all this, <laughs> I can get that thing broke loose and I can get it on here one time to try it before. Let's just try it real quick and see. Nothing. So let's take our pliers. Go back here. A little bit smaller. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna take it to the locksmith. I got lucky with my 99 and I found one in a junkyard, still had a key. And that tumbler is not gonna turn. Oh, nope, that was just my pliers coming off. All right, folky dokies. I'm going to finish removing this thing. And then I guess I will take it to the locksmith and have them fix it. If for some reason it starts working again, I will let you all know. Have a great day. Wish us luck. Water pumps next. Woohoo!